The Backrooms, a reality that is highly different from ours. From endless mazes, to hostile entities, and thousands of unique levels, ranging from colorful to absolutely horrifying. Today, I'm going to be recreating some Backrooms levels in Minecraft, and possibly some of your favorites. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, to begin, let's start off from the basics. Level 0. An infinite landscape shown to include a worn mono yellow wallpaper, old moist carpets, scattered electrical outlets, and inconsistently placed fluorescent lighting. To start off, let's build the silhouette of this level. Although it is infinite for this level and the levels moving forward, I will be only using a 60 by 60 square. But don't worry, I'll still include all the main features and possibly improvise along the way. This was very apparent with the walls as Minecraft doesn't really have wallpaper, but I found something that was somewhat similar with the new bamboo blocks added in 1.20. In a sort of pattern, I guess. With the floor and roof being highly tedious, although with nothing really groundbreaking. Next, let's work on the inside. Other than the sheer darkness of this place, which I will fix, the walls were pretty simple, being slightly spaced out the same sort of pattern, and the inconsistent lighting being made out of frog-like blocks. And other than that, after a few tweaks here and there, we are officially done. I'm genuinely quite happy with this, there isn't much I would change as it is quite the basic level, but let's move on to something a tad bit more complex. Next, we move on to one of the more obscure levels, which is known as level 1 or the habitable zone. A massive warehouse with concrete floors and walls, exposed rebar, dim fluorescent lights, and a low-hanging fog with no discernible source. It is said that if lights flicker, an entity could be coming, so beware of this level. To begin, we first have to match the color schemes of the walls and the floors, which is harder said than done due to all of the images being slightly different. But overall, I went for a palette of stone and grey concrete in a tedious process once again. Which leads us to the interior, which includes a whole different wall layout compared to level 0. Firstly, let's tackle the pillar-like walls. Some photos show massive hallways with staircases, while others show an endless streak of pillars. So, I'll just include both. Moving on, we have the pipes and the lights, which were easy being made of a heliton of end rods and lightning rods, then followed up with a tedious damp floor made of slabs and extra textures that gave this level an abandoned look. And boom, done. Honestly, I'm pretty proud on how this level turned out. It's interesting how well the end rods look as pipes, but that's just Minecraft, I guess. Let's move on to something less dark and more colorful. Which brings us to level fun, also known as one of the most dangerous, most fun levels in the backrooms. Not much is specified about it as the wiki is basically hacked, other than it mentioning the cakes are made out of human flesh. So we do have to rely a bit more on images and improvise quite a bit more. So from what I see, it's kind of your typical birthday party, many balloons, posters, cakes, colorful carpets, and some other fun stuff. Let's start off with our floor, which I really had to take liberties for, as many pictures show patterns that are not in Minecraft or are almost impossible to recreate. So I chose an inconsistent mix of bright colors to sort of give it a randomized look with the same kind of color style applying to the outer walls. For the interior of this level, 
We first have to start with the inner walls, which are seen to be quite similar to level 0, minus the colors of course, with each color distinguishing each room. Moving on, we have the most repetitive part of this level, which includes placing all the tables, the cakes, and the balloons. I tried to minimize it from looking too rambunctious or messy due to me not having much to work with, but other than that, with a couple of paintings and some fluorescent lights, we've got a decently colorful but peculiar level. Let's move on to something a bit more safe. Level exclamation mark is known as one of the most dangerous levels in the back rooms. It contains a long hospital-like hallway with red lights and the loud sound of hospital sirens in all directions. It is said that there are hospital beds and other obstacles to block your path, with many doors on adjacent sides, along with entities chasing you through a 10 kilometer hall. We also turn from square to a giraffe-sized rectangle. Moreover, it has a very striking red light, which would be difficult to recreate, so I will remove the tint for now and focus more on the decoration. So first, let's work on the shape, aka a 5x250 rectangle. Next, we have the floors and the walls. I decided to give a natural color scheme of an abandoned hospital with texturized floors filled with andersite and darkened stripes for the walls. Following towards the interior of this level, after finishing the roof, let's add the constant hallways of adjacent doors and the endless sea of lights, which I have to admit was tedious, but was worth it in the end. To finalize this build, we need our obstacles. This includes obvious hospital beds, a couple of storage barrels, some iron bars to avoid, and a little addition of some blood. And here we have it. Level exclamation mark.